The Bemidji Community Food Shelf is capitalizing on the time remaining left in its March food drive. Our Josh Peterson shows us how a classic winter tradition is helping the food shelf meet its goal. It may be spring outside, but at the Beltrami County Fairgrounds over the weekend, it was more like a scene out of a Christmas card. Back for its second year, the Go and Woe Harness Club teamed up with the Bemidji Community Food Shelf to raise donations for its March food drive campaign. Number one, we're doing something good for the community. Number two, we're showing the community that we have a draft horse club mm -hmm. and that the draft horses are here. With the forming of this newer tradition, the Woe and Go Harness Club expanded its presence and added another team of horses. The hope is that each year the event will continue to grow. Your expectation is just that you have somebody mm -hmm. show up and that you, you would hope to do better every year. The Bemidji Community Food Shelf feels that this is just one way to engage with the community and raise donations as well. This is, you know, being the second year, I think it's getting to be a little more well known. So I think if it continues on into the future, it'll just grow and grow. With donations being sluggish so far for the month of March, the good news is that the food drive continues into April. Minnesota Food Share March campaign this year extends into the first week in April. Okay. So um, one nice thing about the campaign is all the donations that come in, be it food or money, get a partial match through the campaign, so your dollar goes that much farther. With a steady stream of sleigh ride participants, both groups hope that this newer tradition will continue to grow for years to come. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For more information on how you can make a contribution to the Bemidji Community Food Shelf, we have posted a link online at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.